Hi everyone, tudo bom? This is Darcy. Today I'm going to talk about the newer radio frequency device, I'm going to talk about the technology, I'm going to show a full-length tutorial, and I'm also going to tell you tips how to get the best results and also how to save some of the gel. So if you want to hear more about it, keep on watching. But before we get to this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Now let's get to it. The NUA uses radio frequency, which is a technology that heats up deep on your skin layer to help you build collagen. I was sent this by NUA, but it's not a sponsored video. We'll have an updated video in 30 days so you can see my results for yourself with before and afters. And so far, I'm pretty impressed. I did this last night. I woke up with my skin just like this. I just washed my face. I didn't even put moisturizer because I wanted to come on camera and show you my skin fresh from the morning after using this. Granted, they do say once you use it, you do have this kind of like tightening effect. And as with regular use, this effect continues longer and longer as you build collagen. But I'm pretty impressed with one use already. I do feel my skin tight and glowy and even my pores are a little smaller. The company that does the new Indymed is a company that does the big machines from the dermatologist's office. So it's really cool that they were able to make a device that kind of mimics the in-office procedure. Of course, it's a lot more gentle than in-office procedure, but it's supposed to pack a punch and really give you amazing results. And by using it only once, I already was pretty impressed. This is FDA clear to use on your face and it has a lot of amazing features. It has a sensor that will show you and light up when your skin is heat up to the ultimate temperature. And I'll talk about it in the tutorial. It does have uh, two levels, level one, and two, and they do suggest you start on level two, and it does get pretty hot, but it's not unbearable. So I would, I start on level two because you can get the best results, but if super sensitive, you can always go to level one, but ideally uh, should use on level two. So to get the best results, they suggest you use it five times a week for 30 days. Once you achieve your desired results, you can do a maintenance mode once or twice a week, or you can keep using it until you get the results you want and then go into maintenance mode. I will use it only for 30 days and then show you my results. What makes the new one unique from other radio frequency machines is that it uses a 3 deep technology. It delivers focus and control energy three layers deep into the dermis and it reaches temperature Temperatures of 52 Celsius degree deep into the dermis, which boosts the collagen production. However, the external temperature on the dermis is only 40 degrees Celsius, which makes it a very pleasant treatment with no damage to the skin. It almost feels like um, the hot stone massage, so it's super relaxing and I quite enjoy doing it in the evening. Also, the NUA has been clinically proven to generate 3.8% of new collagen in the skin within 12 weeks of use. This means that basically in 12 weeks, you can build back the amount of college considered to be lost over four years. Another very important fact about the NUA is that it does not burn fat. It never reaches a temperature that is too hot to burn the actual fat layer on the skin, which makes it really safe to use on the face. These are the recommended areas of treatments that you can use your NUA, you can use on your lower face, upper face and cheeks, and also under the chin. However, my treatment is going to be a little different and you can adapt your treatment according to your needs. You cannot use the NUA on the eyelids or eye area. You can use it up to the orbital bone. You cannot use it on uh, the lips and you cannot use it on your breasts. You can use it on your neck, decolletage, uh, whole face, and you can also use it on your forehead, and I will show you in the tutorial how I've been using it on my forehead. After you're done, just use some cotton with alcohol to clean the electrodes, make sure you don't have any gel stuck in there. You also have to use it with their specific gel to have the best results. I haven't tried with any other gels, but since it heats up, I definitely suggest to use it with the gel because if you don't use it with something else that is not approved, it can burn you. So I would definitely suggest to use it with the gel. The gel can be a little expensive. They, I notice they have sales all the time. So always watch out for the sales. But on this tutorial, I'm actually going to show you how I've been saving the gel. So watch out for the tutorial that's coming up so you can see how you can save on gel as well. I found it pretty safe to use, uh, pretty easy to use. Before you decided to use it, make sure to read all the contraindications and I'll make sure to put all of them below and see if it fits for your skin type. Uh, because you can only use it if you are from the Fitzpatrick scale from one to four. So darker skin types, unfortunately, cannot use it. 
But always, of course, consult with your doctors if you have any specific health conditions that are not mentioned below, just to be safe. Now let's do the tutorial. For my treatment, I'm gonna do upper face, lower face, and forehead. I'm not gonna do under the jawline for this treatment. And I'm also gonna focus a little more on my laser navel folds. So when I'm treating both areas, I may overlap a little bit that area. I'm gonna actually do the tutorial on real time, so you feel free to do it with me. Um, I'm gonna be talking about the experience, what I'm doing, how it feels, and also give you tips along the way. So when you use the newer, you have to make sure there's no makeup, no moisturizer, uh, you have to use it on a completely clean skin. And I'm gonna be using the newer gel for delicate skin. If you have sensitive skin, I highly suggest using this gel because it has no scent and is a lot cleaner formula. But I have the newer classic, so make sure your device is plugged. Open the little lid. You're gonna put the gel into the probes. I'm gonna start with this area here. So first what I do is I put the gel on the area, spread evenly, so you turn on, on the side. I'm gonna turn into level two. And when you do, you're gonna see a solid blue. That means the new one is on. One thing that happened to me when I was using it, I kept it on solid blue and I started using it and it wasn't heating, it was like this is broken, something's wrong. But make sure you push the button and now that is blinking, that means it's ready to go. So that way you choose the first area on circle of motions until the light turns green. And I found that it's best to do like small circles. I found that it heated up quicker when I did that. Let's see when it turns green. Oh, it is green. So once it gets to green like that, can you see green? You can go to the next area. And again, I found that, oh, see how it heats up a lot quicker when you're doing small, quick circles. It's green. So then you go to the next area. And you see it goes from blue to green. And then you go to the next area. It's green, and then you can go back to the other area that you were. And once you're getting green in all the areas, you can do bigger circles. Just because I'm doing it on camera, so I want to make sure I can see the green, because <laughs> with my lights, it can be a little harder. So that way, once it's all in the right temperature, you can just move it around in a bigger circle. But it's better to do in a tiny little circle in the beginning to keep the skin warm. And I also like to do this movement here. Which is for the nasal labor folds in little circles. And you do this until it vibrates. And if any area start going blue, that means that that area is not to the temperature. But I find that by doing really, really tiny circles moving fast like that, I got the best results. Because when I was, so if any area goes blue, you can just stay there in tiny circles until it goes green. And just keep moving. You don't wanna stop in any area because you can actually burn. It can be really kind of toasty. Sorry, my nose is itchy. <laughs> so keep on doing the tiny circles. Or you can also do this movement here, especially when the area is already heated. You can just kind of do swiping motions as well. And if for any reason the area becomes blue, you can do little tiny circles and it goes quickly on green. When I first started using, I was kind of doing long, big circles and it was taking forever to turn green. So that I found that tiny little circles makes the skin heat up quickly and that way you can move it along as opposed to stay too long in one area until it turns uh, green. And also make sure, as I said before, that you are on the blinking blue before you start doing your circles because it needs to be on the blinking blue to tell you 
it's, re it's ready for the next area. And keep on moving, guys. Don't stop. See, and now it vibrated and it turned a solid blue. That means this area is done. So now what I do to save on gel is I go and I literally scrape the gel from the machine and I put on the next area. And again, you need a spatula to do that. You can go like that. And put on the next area. I'm scraping it. And that also, I've noticed that doing that actually helps when I wash it also because I don't have too much residue on the skin. So, and you guys can see I get red, but it doesn't hurt. So right now I have it on this area, but I will still put gel on my probe because you want to make sure the area has enough gel. Then I put a little bit of gel, but not so much since I already have so much. That way I'm saving on the gel. So now again, it's on solid blue. I'm going to press the button. Now that it's on the blinking blue, you can start again. And I start on this area here. I also try, again, very quick small circles. I also try to stay away from my eyebrows. Again, I'm not going onto the eye area. I'm staying on the crow's feet area. See how it already turned green so quickly? So tiny little circles, guys, is literally the best way to do this. Um, it goes a lot quicker on the green and, uh, and you can move it along the areas a lot quicker. See, it's already green. So then you move on into this area. Again, I'm not doing on the eye area. I'm staying within the orbital bone. On here, I find that I just kind of do this movement, swiping ends and also circles. See, it's already green. So now, again, keep moving. Do not stop. But tiny little circles are the best. Uh, once you have the whole area green, you can do swiping motions as well onto the cheeks. And I find that my actual pores, guys, look a lot smaller after the treatment. So I'm really excited to see the long-term effects on my pores because I have giant pores. My pores are hereditary. And also as I'm getting older, I notice they're getting a lot larger. But I found that it really helped with my pores and the tightness so far with one use. But again, tiny little circles, don't stop. And you can do this motion too, but do not go into the eye area. I'm doing all this within the orbital bone. I can feel the bone as I'm moving. Another movement I do to try to focus on the hollowness of my eyes to see if it can build some collagen there, I do this movement too. If you guys can see, I'm still within the orbital bone, but I'm doing a horizontal movement and I'm always paying attention that is green. You always want to pay attention that it's still green to make sure you are within the temperature to get the results. So orbital bone, but I'm kind of doing a little below the hollow to see if we'll build it up. Then I just do small circles. And again, if any point it turns blue, that means the area is not heated. So go back to tiny little circles and they will go back and just swiping motions on my cheeks. And I also focus a little bit on the nasal label here in the corner in tiny little circles. Always moving guys, don't stop, keep moving. And if at any point it gets too hot, make bigger movements, that really helps. Like if any area gets too toasty, do a larger circle, but always keep an eye on to make sure it's green because if it turns blue at any point, it's kind of hard to see with my lights. So that's why I kind of keep putting my hands there. Oh, my hands are itchy. My, my nose is so itchy. <laughs> but nothing to do with the, with the machine. It's just sometimes I get an itchy nose. Anyway, so as you guys can see, keep moving, do the swiping motions. And I do the little motion on my hollows here. Do not go into the eye area, stay with the orbital bone and always keep an eye on the little flashing and 
keep moving, tiny circles, tiny circles, swiping motion. And again, it vibrated, meaning that the area is done. And what I do now is on the solid blue, so it's not heating up. So what I do is I use my spatula, take all the gel, put on this area, and that really helps to save on the gel and also helps on the cleanup afterwards. It doesn't hurt my skin. I'm doing very gently. And I got a little bit in my nose. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. And uh, just kind of put it there. Now, let's do this area. And again, guys, you still put the gel on the machine, but I find that having some of the leftover gel means there's no waste and also kind of helps the movement. So you're gonna see that you start getting less and less gel since you're using the gel from the other part. Put some more gel, but you put less because you already have on the area. Um, spread the new gel on the area that you're gonna be working. Now that it's blinking, let's start over again. And you can use any of your hands. Sometimes I use the same hand. My, since my cable is plugged into the wall, um, I'm using the same hand, but you can totally use your left hand to it. Again, tiny little circles until you get to green. See how it got green so quickly? Tiny little circles are the best, guys. I found that. And I tried different things too. Again, I did this last night, and I kind of got a hang of it really quickly by doing this. So see how it turned green really quickly? Now you do this area here. And I find that um, moving it quickly, see how it got green quickly? It actually doesn't hurt my arms so much as moving it into, big, into a big circle. I don't know why. Like when I do this, it feels like it hurt my arms more. But see how it turned green quickly? And then you can do swiping motions because all this area is already achieved the correct temperature. So you can do swiping motions like this. And always making sure it's green. And continue here. If any point it turns blue, that means the area is not heated up and you continue on tiny circles. And I also do this movement here, as I mentioned before, on my nasal label folds. Right on top of it, you do like, like a line. And swipe motions, and then tiny circles. And you do this again until it vibrates. And always making sure to look at the light that is green. And then any point it turns blue, you just stay on the area until it turns green again with tiny little circles. But I find that doing this has really helped. I'm always keeping an eye on the light. And keep on moving, guys. Do not stop, because if you stop at any moment, you can actually get super toasty and it can burn. Even though they do have a lot of safety features, it's never gonna like damage your skin, but it does feel super hot. Um, but from reading about it, the research and everything, even though if it feels like it's burning, it's not gonna damage your skin or lose fat or anything, but it does hurt if you stop in one area more than like two seconds, it feels like you burn your skin. So you continue moving in your tiny little circles and do this. and the swipe motions. This area here, and I'm gonna show on the graphic to uh, the areas that you can work with the new one, but this area here is really good for lifting. It's in an area that we don't talk about it too much. So even though my concerns are on the nasal labor folds and also on this area here, which is the area for the gels, you don't want to forget to do this whole area because by lifting this corner here, 
it actually helps to lift the whole face. So it's a very important area. So you keep doing this until it vibrates. And it's still on green, meaning that behavior clicking is that because I'm doing <laughs> my plug is a little farther. So there you go. So now that it vibrated, it turned back to blue. You turn back to blue. Now I'm going to clean the device and go to the next area. You take the gel from the area that you did and put it on the next area, whatever I have left over, I <laughs> put it on my forehead. And then you put some more gel on it and spread in the area that you're gonna use. Now it's solid blue, make sure it's blinking. I'm always gonna remind you because again, I, <laughs> When I was doing for the first time yesterday, I found myself moving like a lot on s the small circles and then having my arm hurt and then realizing it's not turning blue, uh, it's not turning green because it was not on. <laughs> it was not on the blinking. See how it goes green really quickly with the small circles? So go here again, small circles, green, and then kind of turn horizontal here so I can see. Sorry for the clicking sounds, guys. And then if it's blue, you just kind of swipe it until, see it's blue now, but you swiping, swiping, swiping until it turns green. Small circles, move, move, move. Keep moving, do not stop. <laughs> If any moment you feel that's getting too hot, do bigger circles. But that is only after you already turn green because if you do big circles when you're trying to get green, it takes longer. So I find that small circles work the best. And then once the whole area is the ultimate temperature, you can do the swiping motion here. And this is on the crow's feet, working here. Swipe emotions, and I also am gonna do the swipe emotions on the orbital bone near the hollows of my eyes. So that way, try to build some collagen there. And then, small circles again. And swipe emotion. And you continue that. You can also kind of work a little bit on the nasal label folds here on this corner, as well as your crow's feet. So always keep on moving. What I love too is that once the area gets heated up to the right temperature and you can see that it is always green, I find that you can actually move to so many areas and you know, uh, treat a lot of areas at the same time. Because when I first started using I thought like, oh, it's gonna take too long. I'm just gonna do on my forehead or on my nasal, nasal labial folds. But the truth is because you have to keep moving, you're actually treating your whole face. And because it is green, meaning it is on the right temperature to improve the collagen, that means you are working your whole face in the same, at the same time. Because the area is already heated, you're just keeping the temperature hot to build the collagen. So I thought that was pretty cool because as I mentioned, I wanted to just treat a small area first, but I'm ended, ending up treating my whole face because since you have to keep moving, you might as well treat your whole face, right? And I also found that staying in one area only can get pretty toasty. <laughs> so you do have to keep moving. So obviously you can do your lower face if you want only if you know lack of time because it does take a little time to do it and maybe do the lower face in the morning the upper face in the evening that way you can divide your face so now it solid blue and it vibrated meaning the area is done here's my get my little spatula 
put it there. On my forehead, I do this. I kind of push my eyebrows down. So that way they're not on the way because it does get pretty toasty, especially on the forehead since it doesn't have a lot of, um, you know, fat on its skin and it's more bony. Um, make sure I put the eyebrows down so I'm not burning my eyebrows in the process. And again, you are on solid blue, so you're not heating up right now. So you just move the gel with the probes. So you are coating the whole area. But again, having the old gel underneath is really helpful because you know you have a slip. Now we're on the forehead. Um, on the areas that the newer talks about, it doesn't really include the forehead, forehead per se, but you can use it on your forehead on, on this area here below and also on your decolletage and neck. But I will be testing another thing on my neck and decolletage, that's why I'm not using it there. But maybe after the 30 days, I'll try there. So again, I'm in level two. It's just a side note. This is the areas that I'm treating, but you can tailor the treatment to each area that you want. So now that it's blinking, I start on this area here, on the corner of my forehead. I have a very small forehead. <laughs> See how it already turned green? The forehead is even quicker, guys, because it has basically no too much skin, so it heats up pretty quickly. See how it already is green? So then you move to the next area, again, small circles. <laughs> and I do small circles like that. I'm just checking if it's green because the light sometimes it can make it a little hard to see <laughs> if it's green. But you definitely want to do this in front of the mirror, guys. If you are doing it with me right now, let me know in the comments below if this is helpful. Uh, but even if you're not doing it with me, when you're doing it on your own, make sure you use a mirror to do this. And again, I'm just going small circles and you can see that it gets green pretty quickly. And once it's green, you can kind of move it on the whole forehead. It's not painful on the forehead, but because the forehead is a little bony, you can feel more of the probes. And you also want to make sure you have the probes always, all of the six probes touching your skin at all times. Let me sure it's green. Yeah. And I also do this on my 11s. And I do sideways and also up and down. It's, it's not as easy to do the circles on the forehead because it's so bony, but you can kind of do what works for you. I find that once I do the small circles in the beginning to kind of get the forehead heated, and once it's already heated, I kind of do up and down movements. And swiping motions as well. Sorry, I'm going to focus a little bit here. The swiping motions. And the up and down on my 11s right on the actual wrinkle. And I try to avoid my eyebrows so I don't burn them. <laughs> so I go, I mean, it doesn't say it's gonna burn your eyebrows at all. It doesn't say anything actually about forehead since it doesn't really include that area on the treatment as a treatment area, but you can do it there. But I just try to avoid it since it does get pretty toasty. I don't wanna risk it, you know? So, up and down, and sideways, and up and down on my 11s, and also sideways on my 11s. And again, the secret with this is to keep moving, especially once, you do keep moving, especially once you hit the, the right temperature, once the whole area is green, 
and you're just keeping the area warm. And that's another reason to keep moving because then you're treating the whole area. Okay, that's it. It turned blue, meaning my whole treatment is done. I mean, on the areas that I am working on. And I just go like that, especially on the hairline, so that way you don't have any gooey gel on it. Okay, and you clean on this. You can go down and up and side until you remove all the gel. I got red, but nothing like crazy. And it's also interesting because I have very sensitive skin. So it's very nice to not get super red as I thought it would be. And to turn it off, you turn back to zero, then unplug your device and get a, you can get a cotton or sometimes I just take the excess, the excess gel with a paper towel, very gentle on the probes. You do not want to immerse in water. You do not want to wash it with water. Um, you want to make sure you clean the in-between of the probes too because they get some gels in there. See how is there some gel in between? You want to make sure you clean the in-between of the probes. I use very gentle with the paper towel that I've been using. And then afterwards, I'm going to get a little cotton with a little bit of alcohol and just gently swipe it to take the rest of the gel. Then I will close it, which is so nice. It has like a little magnet closure. I'll put away. It also comes with this little cute pouch here. So what I do is I'll put the, after I clean with the cotton, with the alcohol, I'll put it inside. I like that it fits both the gel, so it's great for travel. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna wash my face. Even though this is a delicate gel, I would highly suggest use a nice cleanser. I personally am going to use my Foreo Luna on it to really deeply clean the pores of all the gel. So I don't wanna risk any breakouts. With the delicate gel, I didn't hear anybody breaking out, but with the regular gel, uh, people that have sensitive skin kind of broke out with it. But either way, even though it's a delicate gel, I want to deep clean my skin. And that's what I did yesterday. I'm going to go do it that right now. I'm going to wash my face with water. Then I'm going to use my Foreo Luna and take all the, you know, make sure all the gel is completely removed. And I'll be back to show you. Well, I just washed my face. And this is how my skin looks right after the treatment. And as you guys can see, it looks immediately lifted. The pores look a lot smaller and looks glowy. I don't have any moisturizer and it looks brighter. And I felt like this effects lasted to the next morning, which I shot this video in the morning. So last night I felt this and in the morning I still had my glow. Obviously this is just an immediate effect. It is temporary, but it will, with continued use, it will build the collagen and give you this. But I think it's an amazing treatment to do, especially before an event. And the redness is basically gone. I wanted to share this experience with you guys, show you the full tutorial. If you guys have any questions, make sure to comment below. I will keep you guys posted. I will have an updated video in 30 days to continue showing my results. And I'm excited to show you. I'm actually excited for the final results. So thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. I hope you're healthy and safe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.